we have seen a huge gain for our students with disabilities based on state testing. So um, our district is the sixth largest in the nation, one of the largest in the state of Florida. And our students with disabilities scores have gone up about 25% where we have surpassed all of the other large districts in Florida. So there has to be some impact there, I would assume. As a teacher, it was empowering. I had students coming to me in first and second grade, coming out of very self-contained cluster schools, barely knowing how to spell their name, not knowing their colors and shapes, and by three years were multiplying and dividing. And that was back in the 90s before even Touch Math even became the big product that it is today. And um, you just saw huge gains because once they got the idea of using the touch points and being able to transfer those multi-sensory cues, they were able to take it to the next step. And I'm really seeing that same impact on the teachers now. The ones who are using it with fidelity, the same impact. They're just seeing these huge gains where kids are, couldn't add at all, are now learning how to skip count and multiply and divide. What I would tell administrators, no matter where they are, is if you've got students who are struggling in a basal, it tends to be because that basal shows one way of doing something. And for many of the masses, that might be fine. But we know through response to intervention, we know through No Child Left Behind that it's not going to work for every child. When you bring a disability into play, when you have a complex learner, a student who has a math disability, they need another way to learn. And by incorporating Touch Math, you are showing them a new intervention. You're probably bringing in their learning styles that were never addressed through a basal program. But by using the intervention pieces of Touch Math, where they've got the multi-sensory approaches, the visual, the auditory, the kinesthetic approaches, when they learn the cues for addition, for subtraction, when they can start getting into that skip counting and that pre-algebra, they learn those cues, they transfer them, and then they can take those skills back into their regular core classes. And I would tell an administrator, you're not going to know till you try, but I've seen huge gains in the district that I have with a mass population. I had a group of students who came to me from a center school. They came to me in the public setting, and by the second year that I had had these students, um, to watch them get it, to start smiling, these students who you would have never would have believed were going to take the state test, were taking the state test and using those skills on a state test. And it was just, it was such an awesome feeling as a teacher to know I had helped do that for them. I think our teachers need to know that using all of the aspects, using the visual cues, using those auditory statements all the time is so important. Having the visual statements out, using the little cue cards, you need to use those all the time. And if you don't, you're not using the program. Touch Math is a research-based program and not just researched by adults, but researched on students. Students helped make the decisions about where the touch points go. They're the ones that decided, you know, what made it work for them.